Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Elias, and welcome back to Diversity 3. In the last episode, we were here continuing to work on the Elytra branch. Uh, I think we did everything from purple. Uh, so purple, green, um, light blue, lime. Uh, and we did all four of those last time. Uh, made it through them. We even got uh, most of the achievements. So we got the uh, both the challenges, uh, aerodynamic and ringmaster, plus one of the secret uh, achievements. We're going to try to get another secret achievement. Um, spoiler alert, I kind of know what to look for. Uh, but whether or not I can do it is another thing altogether. But we're going to try to finish this branch up today. Uh, we've only got two more branches after this, although there is a secret branch I also know about. Um, I've been doing some research on like the secrets and all that kind of stuff. I'm going to try to find them legitimately, and then we're going to go back and make sure we get all the achievements that we can. Uh, and more or less try to 100% this. So, uh... Oh, cool. Uh, so one of the things is like the dropper branch. We've got to do that again. Uh, we've got to complete it with 30 deaths or less. That's going to be a little bit of a challenge. But uh, and then there's parkour. That's going to be fewer than nine deaths and without dying. Ugh, I don't know if we'll be able to do that. So we're going to try to get as many of these as we can. Uh, we'll see. But we are going to at least get the secret achievements uh, for all the branches if we can go back and do them. So uh, that's just something I wanted to mention. Anyways, let's go ahead and do the black uh, course, I guess. Uh, and, and fair warning, it's been a while since I have recorded this, so I don't know. Ooh, space. So I don't know uh, how good I'm going to be at the elytras again. Um... We died. Okay. Oh, seriously? <laughs> Alright, I tried to double jump, but it didn't work. So, there is a secret in this, and I know about it, so I'm going to try to get it. Oh, I forgot that it was giving us, uh, ow. Uh, it was giving us the fireworks. Or at least it should have been. Yeah, I didn't see it because I wasn't on that spot. Uh, so where do we need to go? We need to go right there. Oh, I didn't use it right. Um, whoops. Like I said, it's been a while since I've actually recorded this. It's been about a week or so. Uh, I'm f actually, no. Has it? I don't know. I don't know. I am tired. Uh, I've been streaming uh, every day this... Well, okay. I've been streaming five days a week um, in the month of December so far, and it's been a lot of fun. Um, the link for the streams are in is in uh, on the main page. So if you're interested, check them out. Uh, I'm kind of random about when I go live and whatnot, but shameless plug. Uh, but yeah, so I haven't had a chance to record too much. Uh, as of late uh, which isn't like a huge problem I have enough stuff kind of together oh come on nope uh, it's just a matter of I've got to remember how to do this specifically because this is somewhat difficult all right so let's Go through that. Alright, I don't know if there was anything there. Uh, hopefully not. And the secret. Was it... Uh, what is it there? Uh, so the secret has to do with that cow. Uh, I might actually look it up while I'm flying. <laughs> this is going to be dangerous. But uh, it's to do with that cow. And the UFO. I don't know what it is. I thought it was go through the... Uh... Oh, cool. I thought it was go through it. Uh... But maybe not. So we're going to we're gonna try to complete this one uh, as quickly as possible. But we're also going to get that the uh, the secret with the cow. Uh, I know it has to do with the cow and the alien. 
But this is obviously a space. I, I do. I, I will say this is probably uh, one of the harder ones. It looks really good. Like, don't get me wrong. I love the way it looks, but I don't like it because this is a lot more difficult just because of all the debris. Uh, but it looks cool. So that's, I guess, all that matters. But yeah, we're going to want to... There's something with that. So, um, I can look this up real quick. And we can get the secret achievement, because why not? Um, one second. And, uh, yeah. So, there, there's a speedrunning guide, actually, which is... If you're not familiar with speedrunning, um, people speedrun Minecraft maps all the time. And there, there's actually a guide that I've been using to kind of figure out what all the different achievements are and whatnot. Uh, so... Let's see... Light your branch. Kill the cow. Okay. So that was the part I wasn't sure what we had to do. We have to kill the cow. Uh, so, yay, there we go. The humane way. All right, so that was the secret achievement, and now we're pretty much doomed. Uh, there. Yeah, uh, there isn't too much more, I don't think. And apologies for this area. Uh, it is going to be very laggy. There's not much I can do about that. Uh, it's because of the the night vision uh, and just kind of the, the size of the areas. Minecraft doesn't like big open areas. Um, we might be able to fix that a little bit. Let's bring our render distance down to like eight chunks. And that should help a little bit. So we're going to have a little bit, oh, no. Nope. We're going to have a little bit more fog. But hopefully that won't be too bad. And as long as we make it through that tunnel, we should be okay. So, let's grab. Nope, nothing there. Can't get that. Not doing that one. Ah, uh, that's a death trap. This one's not too bad, so let's... Ow. Grab a, uh... Firework. So... We can hit that. And then we go through like a black hole, it would seem. Oh no, it's right there. That's so rude. But the globe looks really cool. Uh, this is, I like this area, this, this specific one is really cool looking. Um, but it's very difficult. There's a lot of debris, which is what really makes the Elytra maps difficult when there's a lot of just random stuff. Because uh, this one's fairly wide open. It's not super duper claustrophobic. Um, but it, And it's not even the, the like meteors as much as the lamps. The, the sea lanterns that are everywhere, that's really annoying. Uh, but yeah, so uh, we're going to... We have the parkour branch. That is the next branch to do once we finish this one. Uh, which we are going to do this episode. Um, I don't care how long it takes. I don't care if this is a three-hour episode. We're, we're going to finish this uh, branch. And... Um, then we are going to do parkour. Um, but after parkour, like... Okay, we want to go... Right here. Oh, that was close. Uh, so after the parkour, we're going to go back and see if uh, we can get any of the secret achievements uh, or even some of the actual achievements. We'll see what we have, what we think we can do. Um, so for example, the puzzle branch, a uh, long time ago, uh, that was actually quite a few branches ago. Uh, but the puzzle branch, for instance, we were able to do, we, we can do the sound um, puzzle with the, the music discs. Uh, if we just, 
if I get another chance at that, I can I can one shot that. That's not a problem. I know the sounds of Minecraft pretty well. I just mixed up two of the uh, the records. And so um, if we can do that, then uh, that's an achievement. But it's a question of whether or not we can re. Oh no, I floated up to the top. Dang it. Uh, it's a question of whether we can re uh, retry that branch, or if we go back, if it will be uh, exactly how we left it. That's the that's the only concern. And so we'll do that with a lot of the branches. Um, we'll get the secret achievements for a lot of them as well, and then we can just kind of retreat after uh, we do that, just because there's no reason not to. Um, but then we will have one more branch and then the secret branch, which, like I said, I know what the secret branch is. I know how to unlock it. Um, we're actually almost there unlocking it. Uh, I'm not going to spoil that, but, uh, it, it's not that, it's not going to be that hard. Um, there's a lot of things I missed in the beginning, the, like, opening little sequence, which is a shame. But, oh, come on, come on, come on. There we go. We completed it. Awesome. Uh, so, yeah, we have the secret humane way. Saved an innocent earthling from alien experimentation. Uh, so there's only one more branch left, and that is the brown one. So, or course, rather. So let's see what this is all about. And, oh, it's the Far Lands. Awesome. Uh, this is really cool. So, we we made it to the Far Lands. Uh, if you're not familiar with the Far Lands, this is what the Minecraft terrain generation used to be like. Uh, if you traveled, what was it, like, a 32 million blocks out? It's an insane distance away. Uh, and basically what happens is there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of errors and I have no idea where any of the other, uh, there, any of the other, uh, rings are, but basically there's a lot of errors with, uh, how Minecraft kind of calculates numbers and whatnot. Ah, so we have to go farther. So that was a world border. These are like mega blocks. Uh, but yeah, so the Far Lands, it doesn't exist anymore. It's only in 1.7 and earlier. Uh, but there is a YouTuber by the name of Kurt J. Mack who is currently walking there. Um, he's a pretty far ways away. Uh, but kind of the neat thing with the Far Lands is... Um, the reason that Minecraft, it, so the reason they exist is it's a it's a floating point error. So basically, the computer's estimation is off. Um, and we missed one. Um, how did we miss one? Oh no, we didn't. It's right there. So, yeah, we're going to have to do this again. Uh, so we can talk about the Far Lands a little bit more. That one was a lot easy easier. Uh, so basically the Far Lands is because there is a floating point um, rounding error. Uh, the way the game calculates... Oh my gosh, I can't, I can't jump. Uh, the way the game calculates, like, uh, the, the terrain generation, all that kind of stuff, it rounds... And once the numbers get big enough, that rounding um, actively affects it. So uh, basically, if you think of it like, uh, you know, if you if you round to three digits, for example, so uh, you know, seven point five three two, whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, and then if there's a bunch of other numbers, if you only round to three digits, it doesn't really make that much difference when you're at like whole numbers when you're relatively close, you know, but when you're at thousands or millions of uh, uh, digits, like, or like a, a number that large, it just messes up. 
And so what happens is the Farlands. Um, okay, so that was weird. Uh, so what uh, what happened is that was in uh, beta 1.7. Uh, it was removed in beta 1.8. Uh, so when food was introduced, uh, the Far Lands disappeared. And I believe what happens out there is a... Uh, it's just a, like a giant ocean uh, at a certain point. Uh, but... Which is also very weird. Very weird things happen when you travel very far in Minecraft. Um, because that floating point error um, actually affects your positioning. And so something that's kind of weird that happens is uh, textures and, and like torch lights. So the, the smoke from torches doesn't actually match where the torch looks like it is. Uh, and so that's weird. There's a lot of jitteriness and stuff like that. It's, it's very strange, but there we go. We finished the Elytra branch. Um, something going on here. Okay. There's one more, maybe. Okay, so not there. I think we gotta go in the ship. Aha! Uh -huh. Alright, so yeah, the Far Lands are weird. Um, they're removed at this point, but they're still really cool. So, that, that's all I have to say about that. Um, if you want to see what they look like, uh, or at least um, what it's like going there, Kurt J. Mack is actually a really good YouTuber. Uh, what is that? That is different. I guess that's the, uh, the ship wheel. But, shameless plugs, instant help. This is the normal branch, but then it changes. Um, I kind of like this house. <laughs> Wardrobe. That's cool. Uh, so I think we're done with the Elytra branch. Uh, why am I expecting a jump scare? Well, okay, sorta. Oh, sorry. Um, I'll wait. I didn't expect you yet. <laughs> do, do you do you want to talk? <laughs> That's funny. All right, so there's the purple wool. Another wool down. Let's go ahead and throw it in here. It'll analyze the item, and then we'll be good. So, uh, yeah, the Far Lands are really cool. Um, it, it's a really, like, weird bug, um, but it looks really cool. So, there is the purple wool. Elytra completed. Uh, so we have two more wools left, but we have some other things to go get. Uh, let's change our video settings back up to 12 chunks. And we need to go to the parkour branch. Now parkour is my weakness. Uh, parkour is over here at the pink branch. Um, now there is also... Whoa, lag. I'm blaming lag on that one. Uh, this map can be a little bit laggy at times, but just kind of whatever. There's a lot of command block stuff and a lot of loading and all that. Um, we can reload the chunks though. It'll help, hopefully. Anyways, we need the parkour. And I'm not like super duper bad at parkour, I'm just not very good at it. Uh, so we're going to explore around, find the secret weapon, hopefully. And so that's there. Down here. Uh, right here. Okay, so evidently we've already gotten that one. Um, not entirely sure how many secret weapons we've gotten. Which is not necessarily good. So, uh, we might have to search for some more. I don't know. Uh, that's something that I, I kind of know I missed out on at the beginning. Um, was there, there was a, a map of where all the secret weapons were. But 
It's fine. We'll live. So, uh, I mean, I guess we could always grab the elytra. Uh, but I don't know if we can get back up here. But anyways, let's go to the parkour branch. We'll worry about that stuff later. And... Yeah, um, parkour. We need to do parkour. Just make sure there's nothing else around. All right, let's just go straight to the branch. And we'll do a little bit of it today, uh, and then we'll continue in the next episode. Because an episode can go a little bit longer. All right. Um, there's a block here. Quit branch. No, thank you. Um, so I guess we got to change this to pink. Oh, wait, no, it's... Cannonball run. Um, I want to jump over here for a second. I want to see if there's anything. Nope, okay. Uh, so we have liberty or death. Room with a view. Once upon a time. Fill in the blanks. You know what? Let's just go back to this. So that is the quit branch. Uh, what is the thing? So we need to complete the branch with nine or fewer deaths and complete the branch without dying. Ooh. All right, so orange. We have hop on the wrong track. Uh-oh, this doesn't sound good. So we're going to go teleport. Return to course selection. And... I guess... I mean, are we supposed to go down there? I don't see any way we could. Oh, oh. I get it. We're in a uh, we're in a train that's kind of uh, crashed. So interesting thing you can do is you can jump like this. So we need to get to the top. Uh, let's see. This is not too bad so far. You can jump on this seat. Um, all right, so yeah, uh, train crash off the side of a cliff, it looks like. And we want to go uh, ladders. Do we want to go down or do we want to go up? We probably want to go up. So let's. Shift over to these. And whew, this is really intense. Um, it's really cool though. Like I wanna kinda look down. Uh but yeah, so there's a train crash. I don't think going down is gonna be good. We need to save ourselves. Uh so there's a ladder on that side, which I guess is where we need to go. We're going to close this just to be safe. Oh, man. I don't like ladders because sometimes they are a little bit finicky. But we just need to work our way up. Oh, man. This is something. This is absolutely nerve-wracking and a large part of it is because of the uh, uh, because of the uh, the verticality the ver verticalness I don't know um, where do we want to go though hmm let's try for like right there that works We can jump here. 
Oh my god. Um, come out Wednesday night and join the Brotherhood, they say. We'll be, we'll happily train you, they said. Good grief. Um, well, that really uh, stinks, dude. Alright, ladders scare me uh, a little bit. So, we're up here. Get up here. Um, hmm. How can we get further up? Is there anything on the sides? Not here. Okay, so we know at the very least that up is good. Uh, oof, down is bad. <laughs> and uh, how we can't get up higher than this. So is there something I'm missing on the other side? Huh. I can't break anything, obviously. So, can we do something like... Can we, like, jump through this or something? No. Hmm. Well, I'm kind of stuck. Uh... I wish I could help him. I kind of want to. See, there's the thing is, is like there's nothing anywhere uh, that I can tell other than this singular trap door. I don't even know if this goes anywhere. Uh, I mean, we could probably do more stuff up there. I don't even know if this is possible. I'm lost. Hmm. Um. Don't think we can make it to any of these other places. Not without dying for sure. Oh man, we are so high up. Uh, is there anything else that I'm like missing? Oh man, I'm gonna regret this. Yeah, cause that's, that's higher than we can jump. So there's gotta be something I'm missing. Um, let's go back down. Can we help this guy up? <laughs> Punch him off or anything? Hmm. Oh man, uh, so I don't get this. Is there anything we can do to save ourselves if we fall? Not really. All right, so let's head back up to where we're stuck. And yeah, it's like there needs to be another. Oh man, that was that was close. Uh, so I will tell you guys what. You know what? I'm gonna end the episode off here. I'm gonna try to figure out what we could be doing wrong here, and maybe I'm just missing something. I don't know. Uh, but we'll try to figure something out and continue on here in the next episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!